The Flat Rabbit by Bardo Oscarson. Good grief! Would you look at her? said the rat when she spotted the rabbit. Um, yes, I was just wondering what she was doing there, replied the dog a bit startled. It had been so quiet until the rat came along. She is totally flat, said the rat. For a while they just stood there looking at her. Do you know her? Well, said the dog, I think she's from number 34. I've never talked to her, but I peed on the gate a couple of times, so we've definitely met. The rat thought it was all a bit sad. Lying there can't be any fun, she said, looking at the dog. That was exactly what I thought when I found her, said the dog. The rat pondered this for a while and then she said, maybe we should move her. The dog agreed, but where would they take her? They went to the park to think, at least the dog was thinking, so hard that his brain was creaking. Where could they move her? And what if somebody found her and ate her? They could leave her outside number 34, but what would the people there think if they saw a dog and a rat bringing back their rabbit totally flattened? No good would come of that. The dog was now so deep in thought that, had you put your ear to his skull, you would have actually heard him racking his brain. That's it, said the dog suddenly. And after explaining his idea to the rat, they both went back for the flat rabbit. Watch the ears, said the dog, while carefully peeling her flat legs off the road. The rabbit was so thin, he was afraid she might tear. It was already evening when they reached the dog's house. They worked all night on their plan. You could hear them chatting and hammering away in the doghouse. Nobody knew what was going on in there. When the job was done, the sun was already out again. The dog was quite proud of their excellent work, but the rat wasn't convinced the tape would hold. After the dog had assured, assured the rat that it would, they went to the park. It is not that easy to fly a kite. You need a bit of wind, but not too much. And you have to run extremely quickly, but don't forget to keep an eye on the kite. They raced back and forth 42 times before they managed to get the kite in the air. Once the kite was flying, they watched it in silence for a long time. Do you think she's having a good time? The rat finally asked without looking at the dog. The dog tried to imagine what the world would look like from up there. I don't know, he replied slowly. I don't know. The kite now was so high in the air, they almost couldn't see the rabbit on it anymore. And while they were watching, the dog asked, Would you like a turn? <laughs>